What are we doing this morning? Is everybody having coffee and getting ready for play day or do we have to work today? AD, I see you out there playing in the streets. Let's see if I can figure out how to use this computer today. Get started. Add graphics. No, I don't want to add graphics. Come on, close. Yeah, so I'm getting ready to, I'm packing. I'm getting ready to make breakfast, actually. I'm going to get some beef chorizo out and uh, uh, make breakfast for Julie. We're going to have breakfast burritos. So I just got done doing some blogging. Action needed too low. Frame rate is too low. Please set the frame rate at 50 to 60. Okay, let's see if I can set the frame rate. Frame rate. Choose the following resolution and bitrate recommendations. Yeah, okay. Let's go with that. Let's see. Does it work? Is it still complaining? Maybe not. Anyway, I'm using my laptop this morning. Um, how do I close this? How do I close that? Oh, that's comments. Yeah, I haven't used this in a while. Action needed. Too low. Whatever. Anyway, I got my storage unit. I got a 10 by 20 storage unit. And I got a bunch of stuff packed up. We're going to load the van up again today and take another ride out to our secret storage, secret storage place. I'm just having coffee in my brand new Valentine's Day present, this Halloween card. Yeah, I got a Halloween card. It says motorcycles on it. Yeah, Harley Davidson motorcycles. I didn't see the receipt, so I can't say whether it was $100 or not. Yeah. So I just got done um, posting some things, but I want to go ahead and read. Is that UAD? I see an eyeball peeking at me. Good morning, dear. I see you. I got my brand new Harley Davidson bandana on. Julie got me Valentine's Day presents. Were you there when I opened up the Valentine's bag? Oh, I got something lovely. Look, Julie said I should get a cigarette case. So I got this one. Pretty cool, huh? It's open and it falls out of my hand. I, it fell out of my hand. Is that a Zodzok? I gotta put them all back. So yeah, I've been busy, 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 busy. I was getting ready, I was going to read something that I wrote, if anybody's interested. Thank you, AD. It is a nice cup. It's a nice cup. Only I have one complaint. Yes, I do have one complaint. When you close the lid, it doesn't, it's not spill proof. It's just kind of slowed down. <laughs> So the, the, the lid doesn't seal it tight to where you can lay it on its side. But look. Cigarette. Yeah, lovely case, huh? It's got the Confederate, the Confederate flag in it. Laird Mark. Hey, Christy. I see you out there, Christy. I'm just getting started for the dam. I was just showing off my new cigarette case. And um, I was getting ready to read something that I wrote, if anybody's interested. I'll take a show of hands out there. Who wants to hear something goofy that I wrote? <laughs> it's actually not goofy. It's um, that day that I had the words given to me, the words from God, um, I followed up with a friend of mine in a conversation. And uh, I actually had a couple of conversations Julie is, uh, yes, Julie always does buy the best stuff, A.D., she does. And I got my, I got my uh, Harley Davidson t-shirt on, too. Yeah, I got this on. Ah, it's my superhero jacket. Oh, and I got something else, too, hold on. Oh. 
This is very special. I have more gear for battle. Okay, thumbs up from AD for the reading. I got this lovely bag. It's a hip bag. It goes on my hip and it straps around my leg. Yeah, if you'd like, yeah, like battle gear. And look at this, AD. Oh my goodness. Ready to get titillated? Look at the handle on my brand new braided leather bull whip. It's an eight footer AD. Oh, baby, and it cracks. Yes, thank you, Kirsty. It's a lovely case. Yes, yeah, so I got an eight foot bull whip because I don't want to have to pull my knife out on somebody right off the bat. That's only last resort, you know? So I got the bull whip. Ain't nothing says stand back like a man with a bull whip on his hip, huh? Oh, yeah. And if I do it right, I'll, it'll, it'll set up so that when I'm geared up, it won't, uh, it'll keep my guitar from hitting my belly. I don't have a beer belly, so I got to put some, I got to, that's why I use my bandanas. I strap them over my belt to keep them from scratching my guitars. Yeah, so if anybody ever wants to play your guitar uh, and, and, and they say they want to play your guitar, you should be able to look them over and see if they're ready to play the guitar. Yeah, A.D., could you imagine the fun in the, in the bedroom with the old bull whip? It's eight foot long. I can even tie her up. Oh, man, Zach. Mm. Oh, yeah. So what do we want to do? Do we want to play music or do we want to read? Somebody pick. We'll read, I guess. Somebody said read. I hear it in my mind. So, I'm going to read, let's see, I'm going to read the, this is unedited journal entry from 1215, right after I got the message from what I feel like is a message from God. I can't deny it, and I, I know it sounds crazy, but I'm telling you, it's true. Um, you don't have to, in order to serve God, you don't have to necessarily bow down at his feet and worship him all you got to do is love what's in your hand yeah love that piece of tin foil from from wrapping up the beef roast last night for instance you know that piece of tin foil you have to love that tin foil enough to it came out of the earth it was a gift given to us by earth think about the book by shell silverstein called the giving tree yes the giving tree Oh my goodness, if you don't know that story, you need to read it. It's very lovely. And it it's about a parent, basically it's a parent-child relationship. And the child is needy and needs all these things, and the parent gives them all to him. And in the end, the tree becomes nothing more than a stump that the boy can sit on after he realizes he chased down all the wrong rabbit holes all of his life. You see? Yeah, and in a nutshell, I don't want to read and spoil the story for you. But anyway, A.D., I'm going to read, because I know it's, it's um, so you're requesting. So I'm going to read especially for A.D. And A.D., I would like you to meet Kirsty out there, uh, the Laird Mark avatar. Um, Kirsty is very important and instrumental, and I think she's even a new crew member, but she and I are working together. She's helping me get some uh, publicity. We're, we're, we're working together on some serious business. Anyway, this is from Wednesday, December 15th, and I'm talking to Tim Holmreihausen, uh, the man I met in Key West back in 2007, 2000, yeah, 2006 I met him, uh, and I did time with him in jail, four different arrests. I spent 427 days, and I got to know him very well. He's a brother of mine. Anyway, here we go. Reptile lands are none here, and are to be devoured as they devour the plants. Now I got in parentheses, stinky snappers. How did I get on that stinky snapper thing? See, God was talking to me a long time ago. Demons provided my armor and weapons using their very own devices to deliver the blow. In all of my adulthood, I was 14, but with my healing, I now have grown, because a child can handle the beatings like any man has ever known like the ignorance of drinking their truck in its weight and measures of a man. Reflections are memories pondered while being undisturbed by the stone that is in your shoe. Removing it sometimes seems futile, seeing not things you do, while reptiles in your storehouses keep all of man confused. 
Many roots and many leaves makes many fruits for you and me. Enough has been imagined and far too much shared. Togetherness is the mountain and there is only one man willing as I think I can, I try. Tears of joy so mystical, myself is filled with pride. Even writing a book is backbreaking. Works when you self works when you're even even a, even writing a book is backbreaking works when you when yourself is set aside the shelf is always empty but for the shadow dust and reptiles slither silently rewarding you with rust avoid dances to their vanity fair over perfumed harlots row while children in the attics look for candy nice and slow plaster slats are creaking and the ceilings weak and sure Ground fine, ground fine, ground finer cream of tartar eases flow. Your drywallers are drunkards while the masons lay their block. The roofers on the ground wiping generations on his socks. Oh, that was a tasty little thing there. The roofers on the ground wiping generations in his socks. Yeah, he's jerking off in the in the piss house. Becoming cleansed with the accordance and receive a tithing's flow for treasures has always been a prize centuries sage and ages the deceivers say flatly in their accord bitter liquor eve and glow sent many a man on chase pursued intent to find wealth alone cartography is silence rejection dictation understanding that they know while native lands untouched by hands civil civilities long ago civilities long ago deep in the ocean are where there's resting until their final show and I have unknown parentheses there. I don't understand. See, these words are being given to me, guys. At 3 p.m., 12, 15, 21, we rode together. Let us prepare for the greatest harvests and dine upon all the lies. Branding sure and strong gets pressed, shrieks the tender thigh. Loving lies, loving thighs, demise upon deserving. Too long gone, on too many died while diligently serving. Lies and fried up supersizing upon the walls gelatinous unworthy herds and as goat smell of urine dropping most food and waste more. This is all unedited. Where did that come from, huh? And we're right here. Let's see comments. Yes, glad you guys met. Um, uh, 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 Kirsty, I want you to know uh, it's Kirsty A D K I R S T Y. Um, I want you to know A, a D is one of my most prized friends and fans. Um, I met her actually, and and I think I was more excited than she was. I almost fainted, but um, her. And Lauren Shea and Krug Stillo, Tom Shuba, um, those are my four most important gems in my basket of bags. Um, they've been very supportive to me, and if it wasn't for them, I don't know if I would still have the mind frame that I do for what I've been doing, which I don't know what I'm doing. But if I read to you my affliction, it might... Uh, Yeah, if I read my affliction, it might express, it might explain some things. So, I'll read that real quick, if you guys don't mind. It's always fun to have coffee together. I miss you, AD. I can't wait to see you again. I'm going to make a special trip there sometime, and we'll have a little, we'll have a little blowout. My personality, they say I have a personality disorder. The thing is, is that I'm a very unique person, and they've been trying to label me for years. But my personality disorder is reflective of the simple, undeniable fact that I have ESP. I'm a clairvoyant, an empath, a medium. Knowing things I'm not supposed to know is a burden and a blessing. I am the perfect balance. My mind is precious and whole in processes. I've had this gift since I was a very small child. In this life, I have defied death nine times. The last time was little more than a year ago when I was supposed to die in a fire. 
I escaped, but with only one of my three charges. This whole past year of my video journal will be very, very valuable in the very near future. I'm going for a desk job with the National Alliance of the Mentally Ill. I have it in the bag, I think. 38 years plus experience, the fact that I am many men. I am the fleet. I have a mission on this planet. The Earth took me in as their child and has been protecting me as well as educating me with nature and the supernatural. My body is a vessel, an instrument, a tool for great feats. Over and over again, men assign tasks to me to break me, humiliate me, or to master me. I am the master of all things, and all men greatly fear me. Why, I do not know. It has been that way. Feel the vibrations and the sounds of the floor tile grout lines while gazing at the lights on the ceiling and through the lightly scratched plastic of an incubator box as I glimpsed around, staring up as I laid on my back. Everywhere I go, little boys who make routine claims of being men, always concerning themselves with mentioning their demands to be respected, men who deny my authorities and try to minimize my existence. Songs and legends were written about my existence before I was born in this century. No one will be able to deny my good works. I literally may be a king. These things have always been secreted to me, blankets removed from my body where I laid in my various beds only to be replaced, straightened, and tucked. Even demons have dragged me from my places of slumber while catatonic in a conscientious and subconscious state. Being no stranger to supernatural and foreign lands, my stories and my travels will become just as famous as maybe even Jesus. Superstar whom, a superstar whom had traveled the world with apostles because he lived in the very same life as me, led on by greedy deviants, always maximizing my details in order to transfer their responsibilities and their efforts to capitalize on my genius beating me in any and every way possible, but mostly for creating their very words. Chiseler. Jesus coined that term. Chiseler. The capitalists are just that. Chiselers. Angry because they can no longer put a bit and bridle on my beast. Unable to lure me with their temptations. I may possibly be that guy. No one thus far is my equal. Where are the men? Where are my equals? Where is my Plato, my Socrates, my Thucydides? They are me. They are all me. My soul is comprised of all whom live before me, even Thaw. Just as it is written, no bones will be broken. No one can deny me I am. The presence of life, the pond of life, is mine to tend. Mountains will become to be moved. Now go, tend your garden. Remove the weeds that prevent you from becoming... From, that that prevents you from you from from life to remove the darkness that you have been given for your deeds become selfless and return to the earth leave the world and all worldly devices leave the stampede and return to the path your quest is before you life and adventure await those who truly purge all worldly things and ideas the wealth of my possession is immeasurable all the supernatural realm, the angels, all know me by the name Moneybags, for it is I that truly is the wealthiest of all. My truth is revealed in the inner mind of all mankind and all attempt to glean me. I'm Zachary Polk, and all who know me will speak my name before they expire. Yeah. Kind of deep kind of heavy, kind of sounds, um, it sounds uh, pretty fantastical, I know, it sounds like maybe I have some delusions of grandiosity, I understand that, but I'm nobody, I never have been anybody special, um, but everybody's always tried to defeat me and rob me and cheat me and glean me in the greatest of ways, and I don't know why. And here I am, 52 in another month, and, and on the 11th of March I'll be 52, and, you know, I'm at the point in my life where I've been realizing I don't have anything, really, you know, I, I mean, 
as far as you know in the big picture when it comes to being able to play the worldly games with the um, the credit references you know the your credit score for instance your credit score is important for the for the capitalists who target you for your disposable income well dag nabbit everybody knows ain't no income disposable you never have enough money do you ad because you're all programmed with the TV selling you the ideas on what your life should resemble by the portrayals of the TV shows. Yeah, your furniture don't have to match. <laughs> no, preferably it should be handmade. That's the, that's, that's the price. Everybody loves walking into a log cabin. and ain't a log cabin owner out there that doesn't love his home. I mean, rustic is really where it's at. But we've over-harvested the trees. Thank you, A.D. You think it was beautifully written? I never, I didn't rehearse it before I read it. And everything I do, as you know, is spontaneous. So, I, um, I, um, you know, I don't uh, premeditate my shows. They're all spontaneous. Now, I have one more piece, a transcript. Um, you want to hear the transcript that I had with Tim Homerhausen? That's the one. The next one I was going to read. And these are the words God gave me. The second batch of words God gave me. The first was in the bed while watching the What's a Wonderful Life story. And uh, I've never been a religious person. I'm not a person that was ever, you know, all about God and all that stuff. Okay, so let's get that straight. And I'm not trying to shove it down anybody's throat. I'm just sharing an experience that happened to me. So, directly after receiving the words, this is what came out as I spoke with Tim Homerhausen. You are commanded, I, I, I pulled his messenger up, and this is what came out. And I began to beckon him. You are commanded to read. Read while you prepare for the battles this day. You will receive Hashtag the voice, if you hear the first time. Ears that do not work once will never hear the voice of the heart. The abstraction from the word is to see through the disruption of the word done by man. Only the teacher whom is abstract in thought is the teacher. Discernment is frequency tuned for the song of the heart. The promises are true, and truth is the promise. Go, find the words, still wet and drying, and then send a pigeon to me. I swear to you, this is, the day, this is the celebration of the end of my suffering and wedding. Today we rejoice. Oh, this is the day, this is the celebration of the end of my suffering and wedding. I had a wedding that night. Yes, I did, a supernatural wedding. And I've yet to meet my angel that I married, or that God paired me with. It has long been time to put away our child's refusal to become teachable, to open their eyes and drink of the word, the chart exacting our garden, the secret garden. The words are there clear for the seeing, and the answer to the riddle is the riddle itself. They laugh, for it is simple as child's play. And then Tim responds back to me, in the beginning of our journey it is, is in the beginning of our journey is very wide and well defined by sharp edges. It becomes narrower and narrower as we discard debris along the way to cover the sharp edges and leave a smooth, narrow path. The path is wide and the path narrows. I go on to say The games in life are within the word. And within the word are the games, the song of praise and the riddle seeming too long. The word will travel fast, and almost all will deny hearing with the ears that heard the brothers, sons of destruction. I cannot become destroyed. My battle will be won with the weapon of my choosing, many fine weapons I have to destroy. Much wrath is within me to become quieted. Much anger is stored up far too long. My weapons will never need to become employed, though very much cherished while savoring the relish fermenting. Never will I become moved to the sins as commanded. Never will I need to feel their cooling. My shots will be heard around the world. My fury will become known to all of mankind. 
man has been gifted, all equal and unequal, the same. Disrupted with the words of the groupings and never to ever regroup. My weapons are as calibrated as my number. My weapons follow where I go. My heart holds strings that I pull. The only rope man has is his last. My teachings are true. My teachings are selfless. Humility gardened in trolling and toiling the soil for, of the self. The balance unbalanced, balanced by nature's very essence. It is I whom holds the weapon of mass destruction. It is my wrath that needs to be calmed, for my weapons have been gifted from the beginning of time of man. And no man has ever been denied weapons fired for folly, greedy, vanity. My hands hold this weapon always with the word. Man has given no gifts to me, and no more gifts to man will I. Choice always with gluttons, choice always afforded with the cherished of them. For profit is man's pleasure where my gifts of pleasure are returned. My boxes are empty where gifts once were, but how can empty boxes become empty when man was gifted the gift that is joy and the sweetness of sorrow? Go, time rests as time works, and I am the creator of time, the relished, resting unearned by the gluttons, sloths, hoarders of bread that surely molds to be waste that only the tiniest of creatures can devour. Peasants and children starve of mothers, fathers, and bread. While the fattening coops are now treasured for the fattening of the self, the desires of all whom can never become full, all full and empty, empty of the fuel of the heart, passion, pride, and shame without balance. The balance is the threat that frightens man into hypnosis. And the brothers have hypnotized numbers, numbers that know not their exactification. This is exacted down to my hands that holds the life of all, but even for me you have almost all robbed. And how can I become to the befriending done by the miners when I cannot even become looked upon by the thief? Yes, creating their own weapons, reverse engineering the word for themselves for profits. Yes, and even though profits cherished by man become created by hands of men to be neglected even by the receivers to spit in the faces of all those unseen. There will be tears and the cries of the masses. There will be clenching teeth, even in those without it. Even in those without. Tears will be many. Oceans are tears. Tears are oceans. Salt is the decay and the flavor. The very flavor of tears of all who were born before and before the after. We all are all one. One of many, one of all who were after the before and before the after. Before the after were pillars raised, pillars destroyed and rebuilt. The library cannot become to be destroyed. That which is raised can become rebuilt by the hands of the believers. And as the ending of numbers are as, as the ending of numbers and time are not, the end of man has come. There is no straw for choosing, and there are no choice straw. The choice is the straw, and the straw is the choice in my dictation. Teachings are mine, and man is. Now, man creates woman, and woman creates man, when man and woman are the same, unbalanced, and always unequally yoked. The mother is also as the father, and the father is also as the mother. Man is as woman, as woman is as man, as I. We are one. We are the same. We are the different. The difference is always cherished. They cherished our all different. The earth is mother, the earth is father, together always balanced, apart and together, the same and different. Too many are the labors for few when the few created labors by the others. Even the rocks are mine creation, even the rocks are hard when they are hard. Hard are the rocks, but hard rocks can be metals. Man's metal is metal, mending meddling always. Now even children are poisoned before their becoming. Even the plants are becoming to becoming end. Man's own understanding has become to teach many but diseased by their cures. Their cures now are found and unfound. Cures curing for living life to, to their new ending. The unending has an end, and the end is the beginning of the ending's beginning. 
Losses are the winnings, and winnings are the loss. The pond of life becomes stagnant, and new life is the pebble tossed. That's me. Ripples are the change. The changeling are the ripples and the pebble. The pebble always waits at the bottom, where the bottom of the pond is the top for the pebble. Pebbles become to raise waters always. More standing is the removing of weight, crushing the pebbled sand. The pebble is to be cher the pebble is the cherished, cherished and uncherished by man, and the choice of the fickle is always made into their wealth, the bread eaten in secret. And the rest of man's neglect is their starvation earned for their lords. Moon is the sun in light. Even the darkness cannot prevent the creatures from their seeing. The light is the cleanser with the flavor of life itself. When the moon goes into darkness, blindness to light destroys life. Life cannot be created eternal as eternal is created. The signs are the creatures and the creatures are the signs. All prayers done by man have been the gift returned. The signs were the gift and all received and cannot deny. Their ignorance is the new idol unseen, an idol that cannot be seen or touched and never can be found in the hand, in found. Man the hands, man the hands that destroy to preserve. Let me read that again. Their ignorance is the new idol unseen, an idol that cannot be seen or touched and never can be found. Man the hands that destroy to preserve. Time can become made by man, but man can never create time. Time is always and the forever eternal. And only the seeker can find where there are no seekers. The dictations have been repeated, even though the repeated has been commanded that it will not be. The wicked will never have knowledge. Knowledge is their gift and mine. Seekers only seek till finding their wanting. Wanting is not need, and need is not want. Cast away the device, cast away all who do not cherish their balance. For the game of the balance is the dancing of all angels. Even the wicked dance with the balance of scales and measures. Stolen songs and tears of the innocent. Now all must toil, but not toil. And their tears for forgiveness will create new oceans by my commands. Find the work. The work is the folly granted. The folly is the work. The work is the many, and the many is the work. All trees removed must become to be salvaged as the many days are sediments. The earth must be removed from the earth. The dirt is the cleansing, and the cleansing is the dirt. The dirt is the treasure, for the treasure is the preservation of mankind. Now words are mine and ours. Ours are the words. The words are the treasure, for the treasure to become to be found by the knighted. You have been chosen. Do as I have commanded. Go forth as going back. Going back is going forth. For numbers and time are unending where no man may ever tread that realm. That realm is through the word. Life is a promise, and the promise is the life. Fly as birds fly. Sing as birds sing. The birds are the lessons and the word already written, unseen by all but the seekers whom seek and their believing. The offerings are the work and the word. And no offerings of man that are not of work are beggars, and all beggars are seekers seeking a void, the void of the brothers, where work is theirs, is begging, and begging is the answer for the word and the work. The work and the word has always been mine to wield. The Father's work is the joy and the anguish of dictation. There is wealth in the foundation, but the foundations have been destroyed but for the selfish of blood. Rebuild the foundation to seek that wealth. For wealth has no use where there are no markets, and no lending can save and no saving can lend. For the lending is of the creation of man, and man is the creation of man who lends hands. Hands are the greater, great lender, and the lender is the hand. There is no time where there is work, and there is no work where there is created time. For the time to destroy mountains has come, and by my hand mountains are moving with the spine and soul of the earth. The mountains created by man must become moved by hands of the many. That is now the gift, and the gift is now a burden created by man's hands. The carpenter is the conservator, and now that the enslaved must move mountains to con conservation of native man and lands. 
the concerned are the conservative and only the conservative account. Accountants are the prize of the now in this time of man. The sands of time are moved by time wasted and conserved, for even waste is me. The wasted must become saved and the saved must become wasted to save mankind. For only the kind man is in my kind, and my kind is the kind of man. Share as you share, and destroy all waste. For the waste is the renewal, and the renewal is the waste in time. The secret garden will become lost in time to all mankind. No heavens in their findings will be found. The creation is always, and always is the creation. And searching for me in the heaven is more waste cherish, and not all in the wonder. For the miracles have always been plain, and plain has always been the miracle of life. And no man whom remains in his ignorance will ever see what is sought to be found, while what is sought is found and unseen by eyes, for almost all the man is blinded by their choosing, and their choosing is the end of man. New earth, always but not new. Old is the memory forgotten, and forgotten are the aged. Creation continues where creation ends and is forgotten by the Creator, for new creations are the cherished creations. Cremation and destruction is eminent, and eminent is new creation. Creation created from waste, always conserved, is the precious one to savor. And when my son ends, my son ends me and you. There will be no new son, for the son is the father, and the father is the son, and the warmth of the son is his alone for his deeds. For deeds are your entitlement, and entitlement is your deed and your conservations. Conservations divide where conservation is the wonders of the hands of men. The music is yours to hear, if seeking my wealth is your path. Creating your path is your music. Your music is creating your path. Paths can be traveled while traveling is no path. And no path is needed, for the path is yours to tread. Work where you work while standing where you stand, and if all stand and work, happiness will become to be together while becoming together is the happiness and joy. The joy is now found in the tears of the many, and the many is needed for the joy to be found in, to, in the togetherness. All are separate, but all are together, even while alone. For as I am always with you while you are alone, they who are alone are also in togetherness. Searching is the finding, and the findings are in the search. All riddles will become solved, and all solutions are riddles. Disease will be the cures, and the cures of the diseases are the works. The joys are found in the searching and the togetherness, and alone in togetherness must also become destroyed. The savings are the wasting, and the wasting are the savings to become uncovered by, their for, by the foreign lands. The unbelievers are the believers to be found, and the believers found are the unbelievers. The foreign lands are not foreign, for the land is of creation, not done by man. The poor are the wealthy, and those wealthy are the poor. The wealth is for all, but wealth will not be found, for the numbers are too many from the many pleasures of the numbers. The numbers are the pleasure unending, while mankind and time end in their togetherness, becoming time and numbers is eternal. And that's the end of that conversation delivery. Thank you, A.D. I enjoy reciting them to you. Yes, the voice, the voice. A.D., I don't know what's going on, but it's, it's a frightening thought for me to just dismiss it. I can't dismiss it. I have to go into the ministry now. And who knows, basically I've been in the ministry since I began. I mean, if you review any of my shows, the song has always been the same, you know, my efforts. Um, the, uh, you know, go back to April 26th, before any of this, all this stuff happened, you never heard me mention anything about religious aspects of any nature, not, not even hinting at religious type of things. So I know that I'm going to lose followers and friends over it. But I'm, I'm not, I, I want everybody to understand, I'm not trying to force, 
force anything on anybody. What I just I just want to give everybody a fair fair chair, a fair chance. I made a lovely meal. Please have a plate of it and try it and see if you like it type of thing. You know, I'm just trying to share what's happening with me always in my development as a little disruptor in existence, a tiny piece of sand inside the pearl of life becoming a big, beautiful black pearl. Yes. What do you say we play some music now? Hmm? Play some music, see if I can make a magical song. Even though this laptop is crappy. I mean, it, it sounds crappy on my end, but you have to tell me. Chasing down the end of that rainbow, looking for that pot of gold, guys. To share, of course. Yeah, somebody has to be the one to find it. I mean, when you're out in the park and you find a luck and you find a four-leaf clover, yeah, you want to tell everybody, right? That's what reminds me of a joke. Yeah, this guy, this guy, he goes out fishing one day, and uh, on the ocean in an aluminum boat. Well. Salt water in the in the um, electrolysis ate the holes in the boat, and the boat sank. 
he ended up sunk out in the middle of nowhere and washed up on found an island and he saved himself and he lived on this island. He was there for a handful of years, never rescued. So now one day, another boat goes by and sinks. Everybody died except for one lady washed ashore. Happened to be a supermodel. And, um, you know, he was there for a long time. And, you know, long story short is, is he couldn't wait to tell somebody. So he had her dress up as a man and walk along the edge of the surf so he could run up to her and tell them all about this beautiful woman he's sleeping with. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, let's see what we got here. AD sent me some black hearts. Always love to hear the magic. Oh, it's... Thank you, AD. Yeah, thank you. Anyway, I probably should... It's 9.17. I probably should quit playing with my toys now and um, go make some breakfast. I'm going to... Well, I could just take you and we can make breakfast together. Talk some more. No, I don't want to ruin it. You won't want to come back later. Anyway, what are you doing today? Saturday. What are you doing today, AD? Anything special? I know there's like a 15 second delay between our com between our speaking. Is uh, Kirsty out there? Kirsty, are you still out there? I don't hear anything out of Kirsty. Probably rethinking having any business dealings with Med Zach. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. I'm just gonna go. I gotta get. I gotta get things ready. I got a big day today. Got to move. I want to take the bike for a ride after breakfast. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Maybe I'll do a show somewhere. Anyway, guys, it's great to have you. Um, share the video around where you think people might value it, and. Um, um, I will see you later today at some point. Yeah, I'll get gussied up. I'll get all gussied up like I do. Yeah. So anyway, peace, love. You know who dares to share, dares to care. I'm trying to do something special before I die. I got to do something fantastical. Yeah, I'm a magician. I got to pull off my masterpiece trick. Thanks for being there, guys.